just doing a quick rundown resharing on my thoughts of the LSA Learn Twitter chat that was on tonight based on coding. Give the questions, I've just got them up. Um, I am doing a blog post that I will share after with a complete story fire on there and I will also link in that blog post just the tweets um, with my answers to these questions. So, question one, it's nine o'clock on, no it's not, 9.30 on a Thursday night between, before school tomorrow, um, but now my brain's buzzing. So, at question one, why should teaching, why should we be teaching coding in our schools? Can't remember exactly what I said, I think there was a few tweets. Um, to give kids more chances for possible future jobs. That's not saying all jobs will lead to that in the future, um, but it's also giving the kids a chance to have different skills and use their creativity in different ways. There was a link that I shared out that was on um, the DECD Facebook page the other day um, about, I can't remember what school it was, but about um, a girls program, STEM club, and a lot of them from that have some new ideas for careers. Question two was, what's your and your school's experience with coding? I'm currently a contract teacher, so at Woodham Primary School up in southern Adelaide, and we've started about last year, so we're still in that starting stages. I like to start um, like with Air of Code, and that with my kids, with the younger kids, it's always good to start with Bbots. Always good to start at that play stage and then delve deeper and asking those questions throughout. Question three, what excites and concerns you, colleagues, students and parents about coding? I don't think I covered all of these in my tweets. Um, concerns from colleagues was that they're, they're struggling to know where to start because they don't know it. Can some concerns from parents... Um, a lot of them centre around screen time and how much added screen time their children are getting. Uh, students, there don't seem to be a lot of concerns. They're quite happy to try new things, um, which kind of comes to the exciting part. It's something new for them. It's maybe something that have been really interested in and they haven't had the chance to do that before. Question four was, what advice might you give schools starting out? Just start, just begin. I did share a tweet out and I got got to use my WordPress WordPress word swag obsession in this um, and share a little image and it was just titled just begin just try somewhere um, lots of free resources that you can use like Air of Code, Scratch there's the CS Unplugged resources which are free get kids coding one another to move around the room get a grid on the floor it's heaps of fun um, and the last question, how do we help staff where coding is way out of their comfort zone? Uh, give, give staffing opportunities to further their skills, so don't make it something that's added on to our time further. Give time in staff meeting, give them time to play, give them time to fail, struggle, and then succeed. Uh, maybe get some people in that can help your staff get your students to help um, don't be afraid to get your students to help either I think that's really important um, teachers are often scared to let go of that so it's really important to let go of that and maybe to let your kids teach you or learn alongside your students at the same time uh, so that was just a quick debrief there will be a blog post which I will share on my Twitter um, at Jess Otterwell. And yeah, that's about it. Quick debrief for me tonight. Um, thanks for those that are watching and thanks for those who contributed to my first LSA Learn chat tonight on coding. See ya.